So here's the thing I've been working on all week. This is a this is a 2017 vintage uh, laptop. It's an Alienware 13 inch. So what I had to do was the keyboard has this this unit's been out pretty much for seven years in my very 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 dusty environment. So the first thing I had to do was to change that out. This is the uh, the old one. I blew it out, but I just bought a new one. They were so cheap. It's like thirty dollars or thirty-five dollars on eBay. The other thing about this computer was that the logo here had lost one of the guns. It had lost, I think it was the red one. So it would only do um, green and blue. No, no, wait a minute. It was the green gun that I lost because it would only do red and blue. So uh, this one, this little bezel here, this is what they look like. This is the circuit back here. And this one was broken. So I bought a new one of these off eBay for $12.80. And then my battery was toast. You can see the probably... probably <laughs> it's, well, it's a 2017 vintage battery. So it didn't. they don't last forever. And it was, uh, it was toast. It wouldn't work anymore. So I bought a new one of these. That was like $39. So... Now I have the, well it's almost done charging. I've been charging it since I put it back together. But I've got all the three guns working here. Red, green, and blue. I've tested them all. Keyboard works perfectly. And that is pretty much it. It's a 7th Gen i5. And this is a 2017 vintage. Quarter 1 2017 is when the processor was release so I'm guessing I probably got this sometime in 2017 I know I got it for work I was doing uh, I had a graphics amplifier unit that I attached to this with a uh, I think it was a 1060 Ti or something like that on the outboard part of it but this has a 1050 and it's definitely um, in terms of uh, graphics performance, it's fine. It has both Intel and uh, the. Uh, let's see here. So we go. To, yeah. So there you go. So we look at the. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Display adapters. So it has the uh, the 630 Intel, which comes with the processor. And then the GTX 1050, and I think this one had four gigs of RAM on the uh, discrete adapter. This is only a four-core, four-thread processor, though. It's a seventh-gen um, base clock speed of 2.5 gigahertz, and I think it boosts to. Well, let's see here. I think I had that up somewhere. Um, yeah, three three gigahertz or something like that. But at the time, it was pretty nice. Um, anyway, it's been a long week with this thing. Uh, I had it all apart. The battery's almost fully charged, and then I'm going to discharge it. It's at 98% right now. I'm going to go ahead and discharge this down to like 5% and start over again. <sighs> anyway, really nice little laptop. I really like how the uh, the mouse pad lights up when you use it, and the, the, uh, the keyboard and the uh, logo. And there's one on the back here too. These are all programmable. You can program. You see, I still have the I have the back off still. Those parts are here. I need to. Uh... Oh yeah, and there's extra screws in here. Well, the reason was is because I've had this computer apart before. I did a. Uh, thermal repaste on the processor and the uh, graphics card when I changed the fans out. The fans have gotten really noisy <coughs> along with the keyboard not working well because of the dust, the dusty environment that I live in. 
So um, I, I repasted those again today, um, of course, and uh, haven't completely put it back together yet, but that's what it looks like underneath. The graphics card is is uh, uh, burning the fan, but the CPU fan is not running right now. Just nice and cool. Uh, oh yeah, that thing. So when I was pulling the uh, antenna wires off the old card, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not, but the antenna uh, gizmos right up here, they came off. They came off off of the card, and, I, and so I'm not able to repair that level. Of, so I had a diff, I had a different one here. I put this one in there, and I had to re uh, I had to cut the the black one it was so bad I couldn't get the the, uh, the broken antenna part out of the uh, couple. So I had to cut that, and I had to paste. Uh, I got a new one off this older computer here. It's like one of these here. I, you can see I just cut the other one off, stripped it, and soldered it back on. But that's this is the computer I got that card out of. It's an old dead one. Anyway, um, end up putting this back together here soon. New battery's working great. Everything's working. The, uh, it's almost charged up here. 98% says it's going to be done in three minutes. That's that's the longest three minutes I've ever watched. But anyway, uh, if your if your laptop has a dead keyboard or a dead battery or some other part of it that's dead, these can all be fixed pretty easily. The iFixit.com uh, website shows really, really good tear down and rebuild guides. Anyway, um, that's what I've been doing this week. It's been fun. Three minutes. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm going to go ahead and change that for a minute. I probably should just unplug it right now and uh, let, it, let it just charge that battery for a while. Kind of exercise it, but trying to get it up to uh but yeah no the uh this thing was broken on my old one and i think that was uh the circuit that was in behind here it would only get uh two of the colors out of the three but you can see i'm doing purple green and blue so it's definitely uh working all three colors i've actually tested it there's a little uh gizmo here that you can test with it shows you uh you can change the lighting on these things. <laughs> so, that's number seven. Let's see here, number seven. So I'll just change it to color. We can go red. And it goes red. And then we can go to green. to green and then lastly blue so all three colors again so that's kind of nice and the keyboard was totally useless I had to have an external keyboard on it was so contaminated with dust and whatnot being out here for seven years but that's my bad I, I left it on the whole time so anyway hope you enjoyed the video See you next time. Bye.